TNTM The Show presents... August Talking Nerdy. With your host, Pablo Gunner. The Ambassador. I'm Marvin Goof, baby. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about all the nerdy stuff, or as much of the nerdy stuff that we could cover as possible for the month of August. So we're going to be covering Batman Cape Crusader, and then we're going to do some shout-outs, talk about the merch, and uh, talk about what our charity of the month is going to be for September. Who watched Batman Cape Crusader? Me. Okay, cool. <laughs> Take it away, Ambassador. Um, I had such mixed feelings about it. Okay. Like, some of it I liked, but some of it I, I felt could have been done better. Okay. Like, I felt they didn't really flesh out Bruce Wayne and Batman extremely well, which is kind of a concern if the show is called Batman. Yeah. I mean, he, he probably should be a folk some focus on him and some development and I felt like they had a lot of missed opportunities that could have been good as well. Uh, like uh, I felt like they could have done a lot more with Selena Kyle and I didn't really like the twist of Harley Quinn. I just didn't really like the the way they went with the character. Okay. Uh, so they made her Asian but what they really did was like kind of make her the big bot, crime bot, make her like a criminal herself that's independent instead of with the Joker. Okay. Which can be done well, because I mean, there's a whole show about her. For me, it just wasn't enough. Okay. Where basically she's like kidnapping and extorting villains. Hmm. And uh, she uses her job as a psychiatrist to lure them in. Well, what she mainly did was, like, she was a psychiatrist for all these uh, corporate people, and I love that, especially in our day and age. I was like, this is perfect. Yes, I will say, because I've seen some people say, like, she pretty much was Hugo Strange, but with the Harley Quinn moniker and outfit, and I go, yeah, that makes sense, but I like that evolution. Like, to me, Hugo Strange always seemed redundant when you already have all... When you had Harley Quinn, right? Like, why wouldn't you just expand on Harley Quinn? And I so I liked that. The, the race bending, I don't really care, especially when a lot of the times it doesn't really matter and it doesn't... It doesn't destroy because it's its own thing, right? Like, it's not going, hey, this is a sequel to Batman in the Animated Series. Okay, yeah, I'm into crazy blondes that are super smart because of Batman in the Animated Series. But, you know, that doesn't ruin that for me. Um, and so, so that's, that's what I have to say about that. Like, but it, and even with the Selena Kyle, this is a season one. I mean, with a lot of the characters, you know, even Penguin, you only, you only see them for like an episode and that's it. Her. So, they, them, I don't know. But anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Penguin's a female. I know. Yeah. But. You said him. Oh, anyways. So the point is, is that, like, this is not the last of them. We know we're getting a second season. Where this is not the last we're going to see of these characters. We we should already know that. So that's, like, they can expand on that. And as far as, like, Batman, I actually feel like they expanded on, on Bruce in ways that they've never done in other series. Like, for example, there was a line where this reporter, they were, they were like, in a museum or whatever, or a gallery, and they had the pearls of... Bruce's mom in the case and a reporter was like oh well going out in Crime Valley she deserved what she got or something like that along those lines and he clocks the dude which connected which was this perfect flow into Harley being his psych and her trying to break him down uh -huh. and that was an interesting take to to have him like release that like that he does that that moment I love that as well as the moment where he accidentally speaks in his Batman voice to Harvey Dent, and, uh, and then he, like, re kind of recoils and goes, like, oh, crap, I slipped up, to, like, rebuild on that whole idea of, he is Batman, 
he's not Bruce Wayne. You know what I mean? But that boy is that boy did jump out at that moment when that when that reporter said that, right? Mm. And so that it was those kinds of things. And then even his his relationship with uh with Alfred, I think that shows more the Bruce Wayne uh aspect more than than the Batman. But it was both, right? Because it's a it was showed the the partnership, the relationship. So yeah. Interesting. I haven't caught it myself, so it seems like to me, it's when people think different things that's going to be interesting to me, so I think I should probably hit it up. So what what would you give it? I'd say it's worth watching. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, it was a must-see, must-stream. So yeah, here at Talking to Me, our grade scale is must-see, must-stream, unless it's something that you can buy, of course, <laughs> and then uh, check it out, or worth checking out, and then pass. So for shout-outs, we have uh, MK Wizard. She is now at the top of that list every time because she's phenomenal you've seen some of the videos you may or may not have seen some of the videos i've done with her and they're great we have this great conversation back and forth so definitely check out all of her stuff because it's great uh film rage those guys are hilarious they cover movies so if you like if you're a hardcore movie person definitely listen to them because they cover stuff asap and they'll keep you on on the know and then they're hilarious uh, pesky gremlins they they do web comics like mk wizard so that check that out uh watch it if you can podcast they're awesome amerame media they're really cool as well um and then uh for merch but yogurt what is this place what is it that you do here merchandising merchandising what's that merchandising come i'll show you open up this door <laughs> <laughs> Come, walk this way, take a look. We put the picture's name on everything. For the new month, for September, it's going to be Lord of the Rings. It's mainly going to be focused because everybody loves the books and the movies, so it's mainly going to be focused on that, but we are going to have some Rings of Power merch as well, so keep an eye out for that. It's going to be coming out, and we're going to be uh, leaving our Batman stuff. Maybe come up with some more, I don't know. And, um, mm -hmm. of course, we're sporting our merch now. Here it is right there. <laughs> we have... Uh, this, this hat as well. Is a oh, yeah, the Pokemon hat. Pretty much the Ash Ketchum Tog Nerdy to Me hat. And uh, our magic, mm -hmm. Lovely right? Lovely Magic the Gathering shirt. This one's my favorite, actually. MTG. <laughs> the good MTG. The good MTG. Yeah. <laughs> so, an ambassador. Got my Ninja Turtles Tog Nerdy to Me shirt. Yes. And, uh, and I got one, too. Mine's blue tank top right here. And I got the shorts to go with it. Uh, I want the headband and the socks. And so if you buy any merch from us, uh, it helps us greatly. I mean, we really don't make a lot of money off the merch, but 5% of any profit that we go to, we have a different charity for the month. And so for the new month, it's going to be AFSP, which is American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, as it is Suicide Prevention Month. Uh, there's also Hispanic Heritage Month uh, is halfway through the month. That's why I'm not going to do the whole month, but we're going to roll out some merch for that as we have some Azul Beetle and probably some Miles Morales. We'll probably roll that out too, yeah. you know, and then any other characters that we can think of that we, that we love, we're, we're inspired by and everything like that. That's it, unless you guys have anything else. Look out for a review of the new 5th edition Player's Handbook. Awesome. That's coming out in a few weeks. I'll hopefully turn that out here in a bit. Cool. Talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, Flat Earth. Keep it nerdy, y'all.